Hey there, my name is Robert. I have your word for the day today. You know, as we look at the life of Jesus, sometimes we look at all he did with his teaching, how he helped people, how he healed, how he assisted people. And sometimes I think it's easy to look at that and think that Jesus' ministry on earth was his purpose for coming here, that all those things he did was the purpose of his existence here. And the truth is those things are incredibly important. They served a purpose but they weren't the primary purpose that Jesus was here for. Because in Mark chapter 10, Jesus puts his purpose back in front of the disciples as a reminder to them. So let's take a look at Mark chapter 10, uh, starting in verse 32, as I turn there, because I forgot to do that in advance. So Mark chapter 10, starting in verse 32, says this. And as they were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them, and they were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was about to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles. And they will mock him and spit on him and flog him and kill them. And after three days he will rise. I think it's interesting as we read through the Gospels that the disciples were continually shocked at the death of Jesus because leading up to that event, he frequently let them know that it was coming. Yet they weren't ready for it because I think they didn't understand that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus was his main purpose here on earth. But Jesus, thankfully, had laser focus, knowing that he was here, yes, to help, yes, to teach, yes, to assist people, but primarily his main purpose was to seek and to save the lost and that he was to do that through his death, burial, and resurrection. So today, as a simple word for the day reminder, I want to remind you of the purpose that Jesus had for his life and the purpose that he has for us. It wasn't simply to make life easier or more comfortable for the people he met through healing them, helping them, or providing some level of humanitarian relief. He came to save us. He came to sacrifice his life so that we could be forgiven. He came to restore the relationship that we have with God that we broke through our sin and rebellion. See, we may want Jesus to fix the problems that we have in life, but his purpose was to come and fix the problem that we had with God the Father and to save and redeem us and restore that relationship. It's our prayer here at Calvary that you would experience that grace and redemption in your life and that you would trust in Jesus as your Savior and walk each day knowing that his purpose for your life is to follow after him and to trust in him each and every day. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.